Hi, Amory. Hi there. Hi, how are you guys? Great, how are you? Very good, thank you. Nice Great. to talk with you today. Oh, same here. And now that you guys have won the lottery, you tell me everything that comes next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, let's see. No. Um, yeah, you know, what we found on the show is that uh, there are some things that the money can fix, but there are a whole lot of other things that it can't fix. And there are, there are problems that we all had and, and things that we had and issues that we had in our life before the show even started. And then, of course, things that happened last week in the first episode that that money can't fix as well. My, my brother and I do a very foolish thing. We rob the gas station right before we find out that we won the lottery and money <laughs> can't help us there. And we'll continue to see that story play out as it goes on. Yeah. But at the same time, there's this uh, real lot of fun that kicks off, which is that we just won this money. And so now we can make all of these things happen that we just couldn't happen before, you know? So there's, mm -hmm. there's this wonderful mix of us trying to deal with issues which we had previously, and then also us having a lot of fun with just just living it up and taking Life. a little bit of the yeah. pressure off. Yeah. You know, the show is a really fun show to watch. Even in the drama, there's so much going on and there's so much life there. I really think it's fun and I keep trying to tell people that. But it's really a word that kind of fits it perfectly, I think. Yeah, well, it's set in Astoria, Queens, right? Yeah. And, I mean, like, the place is just so vibrant and eclectic and it's full of so many different um, people from lots of different racial backgrounds and everyone's a star in Astoria and I think it kind of reflects that in the show you know these are really interesting not at all polished lovable flawed characters and um, we just happen to have won the lottery so it's kind of like get on board join the ride and let's see where we all go to <laughs> now folks <laughs> I like how you point out that it is so diverse and, and everybody is so flawed. And, and so that makes even more of a story that you can tell. Yeah. Nobody's perfect and there is Absolutely. something in everybody's kind of background that we'll learn about. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's no requirement from, from any of us to be perfect. That, yeah. I think that's the reason why we are the lucky seven, not because we win the lottery, because actually as a group of people working in this gas station, we treat each other like family. We know each other for a long time. All of our foibles, all of our little grumps and our highs and our lows and our plus points, you just accept that. There's no requirement to be perfect here. And uh, there's a lot of freedom that comes with that yeah. and a lot of enjoyment. And, you know, that's what makes the show interesting to watch is that the people are flawed and, and, and different and they have problems. Because who wants to watch somebody who's got it all figured out? Yeah. The joy is watching them try to figure it out and work yeah. through problems yeah. and see that, you know, it's not easy. Yes. Even when you have millions of dollars, there's a million things, well, no pun intended, that you can't do and you can't <laughs> figure out, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and talking a little bit about the characters and, and where they came from, on the page, what was it about your characters that stood out to you that made you want to be a part of it? Well, I came onto it very late in the game. Uh, they were already shooting the pilot when I got a phone call. I didn't even know the yeah. thing existed. I didn't. I had never read it. I had never met anyone except one of the writers. I knew David Zabel, uh, and I was. I got a phone call on a Wednesday, Thursday night. I was on the plane, and uh, it's not often that things fall into your lap like that, that you really respond to and really love. I mean, the fact that the characters are so flawed and so full of life and so rich, and the world is so rich, and and my character in particular works in a gas station in a story uh, with, a, with a fantastic uh, f accent that I can play with. And uh, it, there's just so much there to sort of get a hold of in the world and, and, and as a whole and in the world of this character for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's just an unbelievable uh, blessing. And what, how lucky am I that to have this just happen like that? So I, I said yes to it immediately as soon as I read the script. And uh, you kind of had the same thing. You, I did. I mean, I was really fortunate that I was able to play the character in England before I was invited um, to come and be part of this wonderful American um, cast. Because to me, I opened the script and I read about my character, Denise Dubinsky. She's not Dubinsky in England, but I read about Denise. And I just fell in love with her straight away. Her heart's on her sleeve. Her intentions are all good. She's a bit quirky. She's a bit geeky. She doesn't realise how lovable she is. And, you know, I read it and I looked at it and I thought, my word, there are so many women. OK, Denise is quite an extreme character, but there are so many women who don't realise how beautiful they are at this time in their lives. 
and every woman I know can relate to that and a lot of men can relate to it too. Every single one of us at some time has bought this lie. Someone has told us that we're not okay and we believed it. And I just looked at it and went, wow, this is something else. I get to play this person who is so joyful and who just believes the, you know, the, the hype that in some way what she is is not all right. Mm. And to me, I, honestly, I go I on set every single day and yeah. I'm just like, oh, yes, come on, let's do this. Let's have this. Let's know this is people. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... Well, I, I, like, I, I can't wait to see more. I can't wait to see how the story continues. And I wish you both nothing but success. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. It was lovely to talk with you, Amory. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You too. Have a great rest of the day. You too. All right. Thank you. All right.